Hi. Dear friends, lawyers from around the world, judges, economic experts, claims managers, and to my friends in the class action business. It is my privilege to open this online event. We have with us around 300 participants who share a common interest in the class action, which in Europe takes the form of collective redress. I'm very pleased that we managed to bring together the leading experts in this area from different jurisdictions in order to share knowledge and create new business opportunities. Having researched this area for the last 20 years, I think that we are now in a critical junction. I think that following some recent international affair, the most famous of them is the Volkswagen case. It became clear that consumer cases may lead to global litigation with legal cases brought in many jurisdictions. We are here to learn from the best practitioners how to deal with this parallel litigation. Could we bring an opt-out class action or do we have to run the legal action on opt-in basis, chasing as many as possible class members, bearing in mind that the statistics show that normally opt-in classes are substantially smaller than opt-out classes. We should look at the development of the new opt-out regimes in England and the Netherlands. It will be very interesting to see and hear from our experts how the new machinery, which was introduced in the Netherlands in January of this year, is operating and what is the outcome of this new legal instrument. Two weeks ago, we heard that a new system of collective action is going to be introduced in Europe. The legislation in Europe in this area has been thus far very slow and did not match consumer expectation. In fact, with regard to consumer rights enforcement, it seems that consumers in Europe were left behind those in the US. Under the new European collective redress machinery, qualified entities designated by member states may seek injunctions and or compensation or replacement on behalf of a group of consumers that has been harmed by trader who has allegedly infringed one of the European Union legal acts set out in the annex to the directive. These legal acts cover areas such as financial services, travel and tourism, energy, health, telecommunication, and data protection. Some of these qualified entities will be entitled to bring actions in other member states in cross-border representative actions. It is not clear how the system will operate, and it seems that it is not going to be simple without contingency fees for lawyers, or as it is known in the UK, damages-based agreement, which we will review this fee mechanism in panel five. It is clear that funding is going to remain a big issue with regard to class action in Europe, and we'll we will address this important area at this conference. We are going to cover in this event many of the boiling issues regarding class actions, starting from certification requirements, bearing in mind that we are awaiting the decision of the Supreme Court in the MasterCard case. Managing the case, allocation of class members, providing notices, calculation of damages, the strategy of running a multinational case, how to keep one strategy with no conflicting arguments by the same defense team. 
and the funding of the case given the big given the big costs which are involved in these cases it is interesting to see how litigation funding will develop after the decision in the trucks cartel case by the english competition appeal tribunal we will have a special session regarding data protection class actions which seems to be a very interesting area in the uk following the decision of the english court of appeal in lloyds versus google with the new interpretation of section 9.6 representative actions we don't know yet what will be the outcome of the appeal to the supreme court settlements will also be covered but in a special session to remind you that there is an issue of the application of a settlement reached in one jurisdiction to other jurisdiction we will hear from leading scholars and practitioners on their expectation for the future development of class action and we shall discuss important issues which may arise in the future like arbitration and jurisdiction clauses i have a feeling that we are going to have three wonderful days with a lot of work and i'm sure that each participant will profit from attending the event if it were a regular event as we used to have conferences before the outbreak of covid 19 then i would have invited you in the end of each day to our drinks reception but this time i can only invite you for excellent legal panels the organizers of this event have worked very hard in order that you will feel no difference between this event and a live conference as we know them before the pandemic the program of this conference is really brilliant and it stimulates real conferences with the possibility to do some networking by pressing the networking button on your screen or have a private chat outside the conference room if you invite the person you would like to discuss with indeed without social food uh, without special food served in conference breaks but with great opportunities and enormous knowledge brought to you by the best practitioners i would like to thank the conference sponsors for their great contribution in putting together this great conference with more than 300 participants from many jurisdictions around the world. I would like to take a short break and must tell you that I'm here with a broken heart and I would like to express my sincere condolences to the Chemicals family and to our sponsors from Angion for the tragic death of Chris, who was a close friend of mine and one of the most important pillars of this event. Chris will be remembered as a special person with a pure soul loved by so many people. God bless him. Now I would like to hand the microphone over to Florian, the event manager who will provide some additional information and then to the chair of panel number one, Michael Del Angelo from Berger and Tag, to take us to the requirements of the certification process with the great speakers of his panel. Thank you and good luck. Thank you very much, Ariel. Um, welcome, everyone. You will find all the panel discussions set up as individual sessions. They are located here in the Hopin platform. We also encourage you to use the networking features of the platform has to offer and also visit our expo during the course of the event. Our first panel will be starting at 3 p.m. I hope to see as many of you as possible in that session and good luck and hope you enjoy the rest of the conference.